Go to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. I love you too, baby, I know. Isaiah 40, 31. Yeah, I don't have peanut butter here, but I'll give it to you later. Isaiah 40, verse 31. Isaiah 40, 31. There isn't an Isaiah 40, 31. Come on, get, get, get in there. Come on, man. <laughs> All right. See, we can't, we got to be in the presence. We have to be in the spirit. You have to let go everything else. Uh, you got to let go of the pasteles. You got to let go of the hamburger. You got to let go of lasagna. You know, right now we're in the presence of God. Isaiah 40, 31. Look what he says. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The reason why we're being weary, the reason why we're fainting, the reason why we're fighting, we're not in the presence of the Lord. And that word wait is not only you're waiting on him, but you wait on him like a servant. Like, like, a, like when you go to a restaurant, hi, can I get you some water? What would you like to drink? Hi, what would you like to eat? That person is serving you. We got to serve him. What is it that you want me to do, Father God? I need you. What is it that you need me to do? Lord, I, Lord I, I don't feel well. Lord, I need you. He's there. He's your father. He loves you. Jesus had it going on. Jesus knew the way to do it. He got away from everybody, went to solitude, and spent time in the Lord. Why? Because Jesus dealt, dealt with a lot of demonic spirit. Jesus dealt with a lot of heavy weight. Jesus dealt with a lot of craziness. Guess what? If Jesus did it, then we need to do it. Hallelujah. We can't do it on our own. Someday we want to just go crazy. We feel like DMX, you know. Make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. All right. In the presence of the Lord, not only will you renew your strength, but you will find answers. You can't find answers on your own. We've been contaminated with so much stuff in life. One day we're good, one day we're bad. Come on, somebody. Can I have a witness here? You know? I mean, I know. I mean, some of us, we can't even stand it when somebody tells you something good. That should say something to yourself. See, God has nothing but good things to say to you. God wants to help you, bless you. He wants to heal you. He wants to deliver you. I, I think I got my preaching suit on today. He wants to do it. But we run away from God. Instead of getting close to God, we run away from God. Our feelings, our emotion is more real to us than what? Than God himself. Than God himself. So you find, you find answers. Let's go to Psalm 91, verse 1. All right, Mama. I'll pray for you later. I'll pray for you later. I got oil here. I'll anoint your head with oil. And your cup will run it over. Okay? All right. So he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Somebody say amen. amen. You see that? He who dwells what? Mm. Mm -mm. He who dwells in the secret. What is the secret place? The secret place is where you find your answer and your directions. The secret place is where you find your answer and your direction. Your secret place is where you separate yourself. No cell phone, no newspaper, excuse me, no magazine, no nothing. Just you and God. I dare you to do that. See what happens to your life. I dare you. I dare you to try to wrestle with God. I dare you to try to box with God. I dare you. Go in that place. Just like Jacob did. Just like Moses. Moses. Who are you? He says, I am who I am. Praise the Lord. God is real. And your life is real. Your life is supposed to be better than it is now. Answer the call. Start relationship with your father in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Somebody, somebody say amen. amen. See, in the secret place, your secret sin cannot come in. Hmm. 
In the secret place, your secret sin cannot come in. Flesh cannot come into the presence of God. Moses told him, let me see you. He said, son, if I let you see me, you will die. My presence will consume you. I'll let you see my backside. And guess what happened in the backside? Nope. What happened in the backside? Boy, it turned like a light bulb. He had dark hair. When he came down, he had white hair. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody say amen three times. Amen. Well, I'm glad this baby is up here because at least I got your attention. In the name of Jesus. Sad, man. It's sad. you got to get into the presence of God. Praise the Lord. We need to leave the secret sins and we need to come into the presence of God, the secret place. Jesus set the example by spending time alone with the Father. You know what? He encourages all to do the same thing. Set aside time with the Father. Mm -hmm. Set aside time with the Father in the name of Jesus. Set aside time with the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. Set time with the Father in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Set time with the Father. Amen. 